When did you first hear about this? How quickly did this happen? Was it pretty much Carmelo to Knicks? Let's move on. <laughs> well, first of all, some more particulars about okay. the deal. Uh, New Jersey's also sending their first round pick from 2011, this upcoming draft, okay. to, the, uh, to Utah. And then Golden State's pick in 2012, first rounder, is also going to Utah. Hmm. In a separate deal, the Nets, so it's not a three-way, but the okay. Nets are sending Troy Murphy to Golden State for Dan Gadzarich, who's on a $7 million expiring contract, mm -hmm. and Brandon Wright, young, small forward talent. Uh, so the Nets are on the move. And as far as when it began, Kevin O'Connor, the GM for Utah, and Billy King, the general manager in New Jersey, have a good relationship. Okay. They work together in Philadelphia. Uh, they talk a lot. And when, when the Nets weren't going to be able to get Carmelo Anthony, when they realized that Billy King started looking for other deals, you know, he start, he, they knew they were going to trade Devin Harris. So he began, you know, talking to Kevin O'Connor. Um, this was, on Utah's part, a preemptive strike against what Carmelo Anthony put the Denver Nuggets gotcha. through this season. Mm -hmm. You know, Darren Williams, Chris Paul, Dwight Howard, they all will be in the same situation that Carmelo Anthony was in this year, and their teams will be in the same situation as Denver was in. So to avoid that type of circus, uh, Utah made this move, and, and a good move. They, they got Devin Harris, who's a one-time All-Star point guard. Mm -hmm. Derek Favors, a young, promising player, and two good first-round draft picks. Let's talk about the Nets now. What's their next move? Yes, they have a big man in the middle. Maybe some people overrate him. We'll see. Uh, they have this great point guard, but there needs to be more pieces to compete with Miami, to compete with New York across the river down the road. What could be their next move down the road? Well, they'll have cap room in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, look, none of us know what the new collective bargaining right. agreement holds, but they should have as much cap room as anybody, and they'll be able to continue to be players. Now, Darren Williams isn't eligible to sign an extension. He's on one, uh, he's signed up for next year, right. $18 million a year. Mm -hmm. Then he could opt out and become a free agent in 2012. Obviously, the Nets want to lock him up uh, to a long-term extension. He would be eligible to sign one July 9th in 2011 this summer. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't know what the new labor right. agreement is going to be, which expires June 30th. So uh, that, that could change. But th their hope is to lock him up long term so from what we know, and then though, build from there. There's no extension agreement in place like Carmelo was demanding with. No, Darryl. there can't be they under league chance. rules. Right. There can't be. But now they definitely have him for next season. Right. But there couldn't be any type of I extension. See. So they didn't even have to talk about it. it. Wasn't an issue. But obviously, as soon as they can, they'll want to try to lock him up. They want him to be the superstar they build around when they go to Brooklyn. And he's also arguably the best point guard in the league. Mm -hmm. Guys know he makes his teammates better. He distributes the basketball. So a lot of free agents would be intrigued, to say the least, about playing with Darren Williams. Uh, at, even though Carmelo Anthony is still on that level, it's still as good as Darren at his different position, because he's not a point guard, you could say guys would be more intrigued about playing with Darren because he's going to be dishing the basketball. All right. Chris Broussard on the latest big NBA trade, Darren Williams heading to New Jersey.